Gemini. What's going on, guys? I hope things are going well for you. I hope you're happy, healthy, and feeling good. Um, this is going to be a love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, whatever strong Gemini placement you have in your chart. Or Frost Watchers are always welcome. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. I am Melissa, and I really appreciate your presence. Uh, if you are new, please hit that subscribe button and the bell uh, so you get notified of all the updates and um, hit the like button if this resonates or if, you know, you just um, like the reading even if it doesn't resonate. Uh, you may resonate with one side or the other and thank you, thank you, Gemini Nation. You guys come through for me so much and I just really appreciate you guys so, so very much from the bottom of my heart. Um, you know, your support helps my small family and my business grow. And I don't know, it's just, there's nothing better than that. And I just really appreciate you guys, every single one of you. All right. And, um, oh, if you would like a personal reading with me, you can check the description box below. Uh, we can hook up on zoom through everybody in my wellness center. Um, or, um, you can order a video on Wissio. This reading will also include a um, an extended on ribbon experiences. So that link will be in the description box below as well. Um, I should probably start putting them in the comments too. I see other people putting in the comments too, and that seems smart. Because uh, the description box is a little hard to find, I guess. It's that little arrow, you know? So uh, make sure you check that out. There's, it's chock full of lots of really great information in there. So... Uh, including all the decks I use and other really great links. All right, so let's do this. My beautiful Geminis, the twins, um, dear Father God, Mother Earth, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering this sacred space, so mo it be. So I'm going to go over how people feel in the general energies in this reading and then in the extended, I will talk about um, the outcome and advice. Ooh, wise one. She's been coming out a lot. Um, and I love her. I love her owl. Uh, it really speaks to just how smart you are, Gemini. Very, very intelligent person. Um, and cross watchers, you may end up resonating with this side. I'm just going to refer to them as Gemini. Um, because it's easier. <laughs> I would lose my mind. Um, so, but always remember these can be flip flop. Um, ooh, warrior. So be fearless and stand strong. So Gemini, there's something here about you, you know, you know what you know. You know what you know, and you can't unknow it. So you've got to stand in that. And no matter what other people say, um, stand strong in your power there, you know? And an example I can think of is like in my own life, like when I say, oh, I'm psychic. I've always said, I'm psychic. And I was like, yeah, whatever, I'm Melissa, you know? And um, it's kind of funny because now I'm a professional psychic. And it just cracks me up because all those whatevers throughout my whole life, you know, if I didn't, like stand be fearless and stand strong in my inner knowing that i knew things i shouldn't know um you know just definitely if i didn't just like honor that and know that and not give in to any imposter syndrome or what other people thought i wouldn't be where i am now and gemini i really want you to honor your inner knowing here i didn't get that here but this is what this combo is is getting is like you know what you need and what you want and you've got to stand for that and and fight for that uh the white witch ooh, be the light yeah shit like shed like show your light okay um you could be an alchemist you may be really good at like candle making or tinctures or i'm getting someone who's really good with their hands and mixology you might be a bartender if so i'm sorry like if you know this year has been really hard um oh but shift your perception i mean i like that the air guardian's coming up for you air sign um 
it's your na- it's a natural space for you to be in, but there is something that you need to maybe it's even seeing your your own inner knowings in a different way or seeing yourself in a different way or looking at this situation from a different perspective. Um, I would like, you know, I'll, I'll dive a little deeper with the tarot, but we'll see. Um, she's pretty cool, though. She's pretty fierce looking, right? So um, uh, she reminds me of my daughter a little bit. All right, let's see. She looks like her. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Gemini, what's going on? Ooh. Follow the voice of your soul. You could be dealing with a Pisces or someone with Pisces in their chart. For some reason, that always makes me think of a Pisces. I don't know. And, and there's, I don't think there's anything in the book or, you know, but for some reason, for me as a reader, that's what that card has become. And that's what happens when you bond with decks. If I have any other tarot readers watching, you'll come up with your own, re like, things, you know, and I use this deck for every single reading I do almost, um, unless it's like an event and I'm outdoors. All right. Summer. Bask in joy and light. Could be a summer baby. Um, or this person could be like a natural optimist though. Maybe, um, okay, maybe Leo, but I don't usually call a sign on that one. That may denote like time period wise too. Something may go down in summer or you guys may have met in summer or you may have had a really good time in summertime. Um, this person, I am getting just naturally that they, for something, there's something about like them lighting up every time they see you. Like you bring in a lot of joy and light, like be the light, bask in joy and light. It's almost like, Ooh, it's almost like they need to bask in your light, Gemini, but they're scared. They're scared of this connection. It freaks them out a bit. They need to take their time to reflect and you need to shift your perception. So this is like, you know, sort of mirror energy with this mirror guardian. You guys may be mirroring um, a little bit with that, like needing a space. Um, but this person, I think, needs to focus more on the relationship. Or you may be looking for this person to focus more on the relationship. Um, it's almost like this person's afraid to get swallowed up by this relationship. So they just refuse to invest too much. But yet they have this sense that they need you. And again, cross watchers. This could totally be flip flop. You may be on this side. So we'll see what's going on, guys. Ooh. The guardian angel, you are not alone. There's something about this that, that denotes like a um, divinely guided stuff. So why is this? It looks like runner chaser. I'm not going to lie. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, oi, oi. We got runner chaser coming in. <sighs> you know, guys, we need that to be over. Oh, that was quick. Oh, shizzle. All right. Five of Cups. Sucks. You're feeling shitty. Um, I think that you are at the point of just being really disappointed. Maybe the fact that that, and that's probably since I asked what you need to shift your perception about, that's it, is seeing all the real sadness or feeling just hella rejected, I'm getting. Gemini. Why are you feeling rejected right now? Because uh, you got mad love in your life. Okay? Someone treating you crappy? Um, I don't know. Ten of coins. Ooh, might be someone you live with. Queen of wands. Whoa. Um, okay. You could be dealing with an Aries. Or, but I think this is you, Gemini. You may have some Aries in your chart. And it's almost like you got to boss up. You've got to get your confidence back. So this is the shift. In order to bring in this Ten of Pentacles, you need to realize you're a Queen of Wands, right? And I always make fun of Gemini's. Like, I'm like, you guys are a fire sign anyway. Like, I'm, I count you as a fire sign sometimes because of the... Like, I, it's almost like one of your twins is like this wild and crazy guy. And then your other twin is 
this anxious worry what you know and um i think that you need to let go of the anxious worry wart. Don't focus on these spilled cups. Don't focus on shit that has already gotten ruined. And take a look at those two beauties right there. You know? I mean, it's a loss, yeah. But two out of five ain't bad, man. Turn around, you know, and see. Look at all the love you got, you know, and the fun. And it's like... This lady's like giving this dude a massage that looks that really stood out to me in this reading and something like someone wants to take care of you, Gemini. And it's almost like, you know, I want you to really understand how desirable, how beautiful, how sexy or handsome or whatever it is, whatever, you know, adjective you want to use. Did I even use that correctly? Oh, I am so tired, Gemini. So please excuse me. That's why I'm getting your reading done so late. And I apologize so wholeheartedly for taking forever because you guys are my favorites. So let's see. Oh, Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. Oh, depression and anxiety. Both of them coming out. Depression and anxiety happening here. What is going on? Oh, It's almost like this card's weird to me too because like, it's almost like this girl's fine. It's these guys who are bugging. What is like, you know, and you need more sleep, Jem. Jem is so outrageous that you're not sleeping. Um, find your zen, baby. And I do see this like up and down, up and down. That is not uncommon right now. I'm seeing that in a lot of my clients, and that can be hard. Three of Cups, you're bugging over third-party situation here. And that's what I was getting. Someone wants to take care of you, Gemini, and there's so much anxiety, or there may be anxiety over a gathering, a party. I mean, parties are tough during a pandemic. I mean, ah, uh, four coins. I think you may, I don't know. Some Geminis may be holding back about third-party situations. I don't know. This is tough. This is tough. And it's almost like, Ge you know, Gemini, you're just not talking because you're just so overwhelmed. And I definitely suggest that you, you know, write out how you're feeling at least. Even if you can't feel like you can express it to anybody. There's a lot going on in your melon right now, and you need to get it out, okay? I don't know what I'm tapping into here, and I'm so sorry, but, you know, it's, I'm we're not out of the woods yet with, you know, the pandemic. We're not, I mean, there's a lot um, of healing to do, and... Gemini, if you've lost anybody during all this, I'm so sorry because I am getting that some of you may have. But this isn't something you don't know already. I am so sorry. Oh, some of you may be stressed out about um, a wake or a funeral I'm getting. Maybe a family member. I'm so sorry, Gemini. I am. I'm sorry. Oh, my heart. I feel like I'm about to cry. Some of you, you already know about this, though. I'm not breaking this news. All right? So if you haven't lost anybody, don't worry about it, okay? It's only for some of you. I'm getting that very clearly. If you've had some other kind of thing that's caused some kind of real heart shock or grief, though, definitely get some um, Reiki, like a traditional Reiki treatment done. Try and get some healing, some heart healing, um, I think would be good. Whether you lost somebody or there was a breakup or something. Um, because, oh, and it, you may be worried about, some of you, like if you've lost somebody, you may be worried about the cost of a funeral. I am so freaking sorry. Um, I've seen GoFundMe help a lot of people in need. So, I'm just saying. Um, all right, the High Priestess. The Four of Wands, whoa, and the Page of Swords, holy smokage. All right, you're dealing with 
you're dealing with a high level individual Gemini uh, that you may have a I, I, I heard you know I heard runner chaser in the very beginning of this and then he has the twin plenty card so I guess we're going there tonight um, this person is not you guys are not talking very much um, but this person is psychic as fudge and it's they definitely are well aware of the connection between the two of you and they're definitely spying on you and i am so sorry cross watchers but i blow spots in this in mama's house <laughs> mama will blow so many spots if i have to but you know whoever's meant to hear this is hearing this they are spying on you because they care about you though so gemini i mean it could be fucking worse you could have a total freaking creepoid this ain't no creepoid this is a high priestess and she may he or she may even be getting this and i said pisces energy in the very very beginning so you definitely could be dealing with a pisces or a water sun um high priestess energy is you know complicated <laughs> and she may get message she may not even be um he or she may not even be spying in the traditional sense where they're watching you online it may even be they just get messages about you and they you know because you have such a strong connection um that you know this person may be calling psychics or whatever about you too um but more than anything i think they just feel this twin flame connection they just want to know about it Ooh, it does cause them some anxiety gemini Ooh, ace of cups they got nothing but love for you, baby. Oh, man, I'm hearing heavy D. Heavy D in my head. And um, Jesse Ray is his plan. What is this? I'll teach you how to love me. That's what she's saying. Apple juice. Um, but I'm getting... Uh, oh, man, what was I just saying? Oh, my God, that song just left me. I got nothing but love for you, baby. <laughs> 90s babies will remember. Uh, I got nothing but love for you, baby. <laughs> I got nothing but love for you, honey. <laughs> Sorry. If you know, you know. All right? They are heavy D for you. Heavy D on the love for you. Oh, my God. I'm the worst singer. I'm so sorry. Ooh. And they want to start over. Start over. Let's wipe the slate clean. Let's just do, do over, do over, do over. Wow. I do think you inspire this person emotionally and mentally. Here we go again. Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. Um, this came out, these two came out in another reading. Although, in this deck, one's a bird and one's a human. So, the sentiment's still there, I suppose. Um, there is not a single negative card on this person's side i do think the ball is in their court a little bit with this king of wands like they're gonna have to take some energy you could be dealing with a leo with some pisces in their chart or pisces with some leo in their chart that's some conflicting energy so they may get pulled in different directions sometimes you know um but wow is a gemini this is a match made in heaven that you're bugging about because I think you might be with someone else. I don't know. Or you just can't tell this person something. There's something getting in the way on your on this side. This person got nothing but love for you, baby. And I think they're highly attracted to you. Oh, holy twin flame energy in this reading. Wow, Gemini. getting hot in her it's getting very hot i'm getting hot i think i gotta take my i have a high priestess blanket on my lap now i bought a new blankie and i might need to take it off because i'm getting hot and it's like negative three degrees in massachusetts today all right let's see here <gasps> ten of cups you are very happy to hear how much this person loves you um holy smokes Queen of Wands, double Queen of Wands. 
you definitely could have some Aries in your chart, but there's some, there's got to be some action on both sides. I mean, wand energy is action. You're thinking about it at least. You two, holy smokes. Ten of Cups. You know your Ten of Cups is with, is, is, I almost said with this Queen of Wands. So it's almost like, is this Queen of Wands the other person? Ooh. You got Ten of Cups twice. Oh no, Ten of Coins and then Ten of Cups. That fucked me up, sorry. So you got Ten of Coins and Ten of Cups. Holy smokes. This is like the love of a lifetime. Five of Cups twice though. Oh. Oh. I think Jem got some hard choices even without any of the decision cards coming up. King of Swords. Oh. Aquarius energy. Uh, you, you're gonna, I, that's what I was saying. Jem got some big choices coming up. Who do you want to be with? And, um, oh, I'm thinking of a client. This is very, very relevant. All right. The high priestess says the two. Oh, you guys, you guys, your gangsta is totally matched. Um... Wow, you guys are very alike. Very, very much alike. Um, and you're both, there's such a, there's a psychic connection. I mean, with twin flames, there is. You definitely have a psychic connection with somebody, but you overthink it. Ooh, six of swords. This person is moving towards Kama Waters. So this person may be moving moving out of a home or something too death whoa you could be dealing with the scorpio scorpio leo pisces um big changes coming up in this person's life humongous transformation and i think really discovering their psychic gifts temperance divinely guided um it's almost like you have some hard choices to make and, and, and it's almost like this person is doing their best to be patient. Six of coins. What this person really truly wants is an equal give and take relationship with you. Oh, the tower. Whoa. All right. This person may have their own shit to get out of. Yeah, um, this could be the case of, oh man, it's complicated, Gemini. Or, you know, this person, it's like, I mean, or this person is just really surprised by how much they want to be with you, Gemini. And they just, it blows their mind a little bit. And you've caused a lot of big changes in their life. Wow. Ooh, the devil. Ooh, it's the cutest freaking devil card I have ever seen in my life. Oh my god. I want to eat him. All right. I gotta stop this. He's so cute. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta get on to the extended, Gemini. Just know I love you guys so much. This is some deep, deep stuff. Uh, you may have to make some choices between a soulmate and a twin flame. Or a karmic in a twin flame, if you're this miserable about it. Definitely a lot of twin flame energies that I try to avoid on this channel, but I run smack dab into them anyway. All right. I love you guys so much. And um, thank you. Thank you for all the support. And I will see you over on Riven. Bye, guys.